What's going on guys? Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. I am he and today I'm talking to you guys about PlayStation 4 Pro versus the Xbox One X. Is this even a battle to even be speaking of? Possibly. There's always some crazy way to stir the pot. I know there's so many gamers out there who are fanboys who just don't even want to hear the argument. But there's some actually pretty exciting news out there about the PlayStation 4 Pro being able to actually match the Xbox One's power due to some new AMD technology. Now I read through this already. It is pretty exciting. If this is actually true and it makes the PS4 Pro that much more powerful, I'll believe it when I see it. I'll drop a link in the description. PS4 Pro could nearly match Xbox One's power thanks to new AMD graphics technology. Microsoft has boasted their upcoming Xbox One X will be the beefiest console ever made, easily outstripping the capabilities of the PlayStation 4 Pro. But that balance of power may be about to change. AMD, whose processors power both the PS4 and the Xbox One, has announced a new cutting-edge processor technology, and only the PS4 Pro supports it. The new tech, which will be available via AMD's new high-end RX Vega graphics card, is called Rapid Patch Math. And already games like Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus and Far Cry 5 have pledged to support it. This is all a bit technical, but it's very basic. Rapid Patch Math allows games to render certain graphical effects using 16-bit processing rather than 32-bit processing. That frees up extra power the GPU can use elsewhere. Under ideal conditions, Rapid Pack Math could potentially double the processing capabilities of the GPU, allowing it to do two 16-bit tasks at once instead of using one 32-bit task, although that won't usually be the case. It seems like the main benefit of Rapid Pack Math will be in making various minor touches. Hair effects, lighting, shaders, less of a drag on the hardware, allowing for better performance. So when it turns out that Sony was thinking ahead with the PlayStation 4 Pro, as the system's GPU supports Rapid Pack Math, the tech hadn't been rolled out yet when the PS4 Pro launched, but developers can now take advantage of it on the system. The Xbox One X, on the other hand, does not support the feature. Here's what PS4 Pro architect Mark Cerny had to say about Rapid Pack Math last year. Quote, A few AMD roadmap features are appearing for the first time in PS4 Pro. One of the features appearing for the first time is Rapid Pack Math. It's possible to perform two 16-bit operations at the same time instead of using 32-bit operation. In other words, at full loads, we have 4.2 teraflops with half floats. It's now double that, which is to say 8.4 teraflops in 16-bit computation. That has the potential to radically increase performance, end quote. <laughs> Holy fook. I'm telling you, man, that's crazy. For the record, Microsoft is boasting 6 teraflops of power for the Xbox One X, so Rapid Pack Math could, in theory, make the PS4 Pro the more powerful machine, although again, it's not quite that simple. The Xbox One will still have the power edge, although it seems it won't be as large as we once thought. Wow, that is big news. If Rapid Pack Math, well, if Mark Starney was talking about this, of course he's a PlayStation architect, he created the thing. He knows what he's talking about, and they planned ahead for this new AMD technology to be used in the PS4 Pro. If this becomes a tangible way for Sony to move forward with their development for developers to utilize Rapid Pack Math in creating their games, the PS4 Pro could still hang in there with the Xbox One X. I'm not sure. You know, right out of the gate, the Xbox One X is going to be the superior system. I think it's superior uh, in the way that it looks. I think it's superior in, in the overall power that's inside the console, but once again, if Sony found some kind of crazy genie loophole to make their system, I mean, that's where we heard that 8.4 teraflops before. You guys remember last year when we heard Mark Cerny say that. We didn't understand it, but now it appears that technology is becoming available, and if they're able to tap into it, the PlayStation 4 Pro could really, really be a lot better than it is now. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think that Rapid Pack Math will have a substantial effect on the way PlayStation 4 Pro operates, the types of games it's able to make. Do you think it'll be able to make the PlayStation 4 Pro stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Xbox One X? Or do you think that those teraflops are just too much for the PlayStation 4 Pro and that the Xbox One X will lead the future 
of the iteration consoles. You guys let me know what you think. I really appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up, show support for my channel. Follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. Uh, that's a fun place to be at all times. If you guys would like to support my channel and support my future endeavors, consider becoming a patron. That really helps my channel and helps my future on this channel. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.